Hi folks, in your Econ 3 and in your Econ 4 exam, you're going to have 110 marker to do and 115 marker to do per exam. They are exactly the same question guys, just worth a different number of marks, so don't get fooled by that. Exactly the same structure, exactly the same style of question, and boy, these questions are gifts from the economics gods. Absolute gifts, you guys are so lucky to have two of these in each examination, my goodness. I remember when I was doing my AQA exams back in the day, these questions I used to absolutely love because they're marked using ticks. So if you know your stuff, you can rack up the ticks. On my 15 markers, I was getting like, you know, 20, 25 marks out of 15. Sounds stupid, right? But that's how my teacher would mark it. Just keep ticking, ticking, ticking. Obviously, when you hit 15, you're done. But the more you write, the more ticks you get, you know, the safer you are. I used to absolutely love it. Uh, and you should feel the same way too. You should all be trying to get 10 and then 15, 100%. These are explain slash analyze questions. Doesn't matter which word they use. You're looking at depth of writing here. Depth of explanation, depth of analysis. That's what you're looking for. On the 10 marker, it will often be explain a key term and then analyze something. Whereas the 15 marker will just be analyze this or explain that. So very simple. Uh, you should know from your 12 marker last year, um, what to do on these questions. It's essentially the same kind of question, but now beefed up for A2. Again, remember, uh, from last year with the 12 markers, same principle applies here. For these explain, analyze, 10 and 15 markers, no on the other hand, so no two-sided argument, no evaluation, no judgment, just analyze the theory. Simple as that. Then it comes to structure. What are the key things you need to include for these questions? Well, whether it's a 10 or a 15, remember the same question, so you're structuring it the same way, the same kind of things you need. Always, always, always definitions to start. Now, you can get up to four marks for a definition, whether it's a 10 or a 15. So imagine on a 10 marker, four marks for the definitions. What a joke, how easy is that? So define your key terms, whatever the key terms are in the question, that's where you focus. Up to four marks available for definitions. Then, diagrams, always. There is going to be a diagram that's relevant. You just need to source it. Sometimes it's obvious what diagram to draw, sometimes not so obvious. Diagrams are worth up to three marks, normally two marks per diagram. So get your diagrams done, make sure they're fully labeled, make sure they're detailed, but crucially, make sure they are referred to in your writing. If you just plonk them there and you don't talk about them, you ain't scoring any marks for that. You need to refer to them in your writing, all right? So up to three marks available for diagrams. Two marks per diagram, and then if you draw two, you only get one mark for the second one. All right, but up to three marks for diagrams. Amazing how easy it is to score. Depth of analysis. Now this is where you need to focus your attention. Chains of analysis. Oh my God, this is where it's like, oh, opening a treasure chest. If you can do this well, oh my goodness, you can score so many marks. So. If in your 10 market it says analyze two things, and analyze two things, but those two things, you just go to town with your chain. Assume the examiner knows nothing. That's a great way to start. Assume the examiner is a non-economist. Maybe a, I know, a French student, or like an English student, or a math student, or whatever, knows nothing about economics. How are you going to write? Well, if that's the person marking your exam, you're going to write everything, aren't you? You're going to explain everything. You're going to take no liberties. That's what you should do. That's your chain. And then every time you write something in the chain, you rack up the ticks constantly. Some chains are up to eight marks. Absolutely insane, right? So that should be your target. Keep going on this chain of analysis. Now that chain might also include your diagram, and you refer to your diagram. Great, the diagram's already given you two marks, just for the diagram itself. And then when you start talking about it and including it in chains, going non-stop, 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 you rack up your marks as well. So chains of analysis in answering whatever question is in front of you is going to be the key to examination success, to getting full marks here, all right? Chains, don't forget chains. Just keep going, 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 explain everything. Application, don't forget this key thing. The extracts are there to help you, for you to apply this. Maybe you've got your own knowledge as well, which you can use, but mainly the extracts are there for you to apply. Don't forget to apply. Examiners will reward application as well. And, like I said at the start, this is marked using ticks. You're trying to collect as many ticks as you can. 
As soon as you hit 10 ticks, you've got your marks, great. As soon as you hit 15 ticks, you've got your marks, great. All right, so don't stop with your chain. Just keep going, going, going. Keep going, going, going. Knowing that you're looking at 15 minutes for this question, max 20 minutes. Certainly for the 15, you're looking at 20 minutes. For the 10, you're looking at 15 minutes. So keep going. Use that time wisely. Maximize the number of ticks. Don't think in your head, I think I've got 10 ticks, I'm going to stop. Just keep going until your 15 minutes is up. For the 15, just because you think you've got 15 ticks, don't stop if you've got spare time. Keep going, maximize your marks, all right? The examiner's train to keep ticking, ticking, ticking. When 15 ticks are there, you've got 15. When 10 ticks are there, you've got 10. That's how to do it. Smash this, guys. So important because then suddenly the A star is opened up for you guys. Thanks for watching, guys. See you all in the next video. Smash it, do really, really well. You can do it. See you in the next video.